Hey everyone, how's it going? Cyber Gamer here, and a new start to a fresh day of our Divine Journey series. It's been a minute since the last episode, but we're gonna get this thing going, get some more progression done, get some automation finished, and get back to it. Let's check it out. Okie dokie, so last episode we had actually gotten started with Ender.io. So now we have Ender.io pipes. I've started cleaning some stuff up. We started making dark steel, so I was able to make the unending bowl. I've got some cleaned up on our automation, so now our machines are kind of compacted together and looking a little cleaner, not pipes going in the middle. <laughs> but it makes things a lot easier, especially with it having 16 different channels you can use per pipe. Very useful. But... We're going to be getting a little further into Ender IO and going ahead and starting to work on the, I guess, the higher tier stuff of mechanism. We're going to be making the HTPE pellets and we're going to be getting that going, some substrate and ethylene. Unfortunately, in this pack, the gas burning generator is taken out. So we won't be able to use the ethylene for fuel. But pretty much the only thing we're going to need it for is making those HTPE sheets. HDPE sheets, uh, and that way we can turn that into plastic for industrial fork going. So we're gonna get started on that, but first we need to do some explosion. The bluey, shinies. We got shinies. All right. Even shinier, even brighter. Hyper diamonds. Let's make two more of these. And then we should be able to make two of these. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Engraved with ones, zebras. 16. It's not even half of what I use. Quivet crystal. Make a quivet crystal. Quivet. Quivet. I don't even know what this thing is. Uh, we need that emerald pulsating thing, though. Vibrant. Uh, cool. Okay. What's it? I don't know what this does. Better than emeralds. Is this thing going to tell me what a quivet is? Craft quantity won't quantum disk. This is used as a crafting material later on. Okay. It did. Okay. Full circle. And I don't have anything. Uh, crystalline brown slime ingot. Awkward. Well, looks like we're making, uh, Looks like we're getting this stuff going quicker than I expected because we need this to make this. Okay, so I guess this, oh, I see. Okay. Enough distractions. Let's make an electrolytic core. Uh, if we can. <laughs> this is the main thing we need. Wow, we have none of this. Cool. We need that, that, and then that. This is made here with end steel and pop core fruit. End steel is obsidian and dark steel. Yeah. Okay, so. Alright, let's go smoke this up in our Ender IO smelter. I love the fact we finally got Ender IO. Ender IO. Super awesome mod. I talked about it last episode. I don't know. It's been a little bit since I recorded that. But if I didn't, oh my goodness. Ender IO is awesome. But I probably did, considering the fact that I set all that stuff up in between episodes. But yeah, I do enjoy me some Ender IO. The machines are cool. Processes are cool. Pipes are cool. Some processes are processes, but that's no big deal. Okay, so while that goes down, let's see if we can get some other stuff ready. Yes, let's get the capacitors ready. 
sentient ender, takes an ender resonator, and oh, we gotta go catch a witch. That's easy. But we gotta go catch a witch. Hmm. Find a cocoa bean so I can make the little chassis, because you might gotta make the industrial dye, and it takes like anything brown pretty much. So, uh, dark steel, I think, is the one thing that's gonna kind of bottleneck us as far as that's concerned. Um, was that the process one? Got a lot, a lot going on for to make it. Yeah, so we need refined obsidian, stealing it, and energized darkening it. Okay, well, I'm going to go find a witch. And that'll be the last thing we need. Everything else is pretty much all set. We have the stuff we make need to make this. We'll set that up and get that crafted up. The enhanced die, not too bad. It's just more pulsating iron, which again is just iron and pearl. So if we need some more, we can make that. We'll get the pulsating crystal going. Then we can make our electrolytic cores. Now those are like yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh wow, I'm glad I looked at these. Okay, so we need a lot more dark steel. Okay. Cool. That's not that's not too bad. It's just time consuming, but it's really not bad as far as like difficulty wise, because we can do all this. It's just gonna take a lot of dark steel. So we'll have to get this stuff right here. We've got plenty of the fuel. The refined fuel. Lots of refined fuel, but the tar and bitumen. Probably need to make sure we got enough of that. Get a whole bunch of the energized darking it's up. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let me get all that prepped up, and I will come back once I have enough, not only to make the electrolytic core, but we'll go ahead and have enough to make the machines here. I probably, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure what's that substrate, and yeah, let's let's check out substrate because I think. We need a crusher. Yep, we need biofuel. That's what I thought. So we're going to take water and hydrogen, which hydrogen we'll get from the electrolytic separator. And that'll separate hydrogen and oxygen from water. So we'll have water pump into here and water pump into there. Separate the hydrogen out, combine them both. Biofuel is super simple. It just takes any crop in the crusher. So that'll be really easy to set up. And then we'll get the substrate. All right, anywho. Getting a little far ahead. Yep, let me go ahead and get some stuff prepared up and then we'll be able to move on a little further. Alright, just getting some stuff together there. We need all of this stuff to make uh, dark steel. And there it is. And I'm going to use the alloy smelter from Ender IO because it's much faster than the arc furnace and does not require near as much power. So. We will, we need to uh, energize dark darking it, which that's again the darking it wrapped around refined fuel, and that's with the bitumen and tar. We're auto producing the tar with the refined fuel that we're producing. Bitumen, we just gotta mine the oil sand, and then we have the sag mill now, which actually gets us quite a bit more bitumen than it was before. But we also need refined obsidian and steel, so I'm making three stacks of each, so that way we can have a good little supply of the dark steel this is uh the bitumen and stuff gone we have the sag mill ground and all, all our oil shell the oil stuff it <laughs> oil shell up and getting uh mixed up into the darking it so but that will make us three stacks of the dark steel we've got enough dark ingots now so i'll go ahead and take out the bitumen and tar uh we'll just stick it on here but later we got some more dark ingots got 700 built up and of course the refined fuel we've got plenty of that we got this big drum it's got 256,000 mill buckets what's that 256 buckets and then we got another 37 buckets here uh all we gotta do is crush up some coal and then we can get this going again right now it's pretty full so it ain't gonna do nothing We've got obsidian still producing, so that's still doing its thing right here. I'm going ahead and making a bunch of steel, so we had a bunch of coal coke made up. So I just have it going through the induction smelter just to give us a good little stock of steel. And then right here, I'm 
We're finding up some of our iron ore just to make sure we got some iron and nickel in stock using the cinnabar that we got from the redstone. So just doing some little chores and stuff. Figured I'd let y'all pop in and see the update. Working towards getting all this stuff together. So the mithril ingot, uh, we're gonna need some mana dust and the platinum and stuff. We we have eleven, uh, which is enough to make three of these. Um let's see if we actually need it for any of this. And we're working on the machine cassies. So I've got uh, cassies, chassis, so we can make these. The other thing is I was able to find a swamp nearby. There we go. I caught it, witch. Unfortunately, we need three, so I gotta wait. Um, but uh, let's make this daytime. Uh, where was she at? Yes, over here. Our house is in here somewhere. Maybe that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think that's it right next to the water. Uh, but yeah, there was a witch in there. So I'm going to kind of keep checking in over there and try and get the third one, the second and the third one, as we need three of these. So once in, each one takes a soul of a witch and it empties a soul vault afterwards. So once we gather up three of the witches, we'll be able to go ahead and complete that. I feel like eventually I'm going to get to the point where I have everything ready except all of these. Um, I'll definitely be able to make one, obviously, because I have a witch, but I'm just going to keep gathering up some resources and stuff. But, yeah, uh, I will be back. Oh, I did go ahead and make some solar panels. So I made all four of these. These are the ones that we we have two of. It makes two when you do the craft, but it ends up taking some dark steel. The next tier actually is kind of out of our reach for now, but it takes the empowered Inori crystals, which takes this whole setup right here, which we haven't gotten to quite yet. We're almost there though. So pretty soon we'll be able to get that, but these do 128 RF per tick each. So I have two of them out there, so that's 256. Alrighty, finally did it. Went ahead and made the three machines we needed. The PRC, the rotary the condensant, Condensentrator. That that can read. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, and then the uh, electrolytic separator. This will take the biofuel, hydrogen, and water, mix it up, and make ethylene and the substrate. The ethylene we'll put in the rotary condenser to change it over to a liquid instead of a gas, and then we'll be able to use that with the substrate to make the plastic stuff, and then keep going from there. So I also made the crusher so we can set up automation for having plants and stuff coming in there. I did go ahead and rearrange some stuff. So I moved the Ender IO stuff over here, put a floor in this tower. Uh, as far as the quests are concerned, we have these three machines. I went ahead and made a pressure pro pr basic pressure tube and basic gas tank was actually used to make most of these. Uh, well, actually ultimate gas tank. Um, so yeah, we had to go through that process, but got it all taken care of. Hmm, I might go ahead and make another little end of war bucket. Seems like a pretty easy solution for an infinite water source. It's got a lot of water in it. Okay, cool. That'll actually be perfect. Uh, so transfer rate is basically limited to the pipe because it has such a big buffer. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, let me do that real quick and we'll be back. Nice peaceful campfire crafting. And a little bit more crafting. Uh, da -da, and that. I think I can just stack all that. There. That. And we'll just keep adding the water bottles. I do love the animation from Roots though. It's a very cool looking one. I think I want to put it there. Because. Um, we can do this. That. There we go. Awesome. So within your IO, you have these two tabs that'll let you switch between the pipes so that way you can actually determine what you're actually changing the specifications to. So we're going to do extract, and that should have water in it. Awesome. We need the liquid ethylene combined with oxygen. So we'll take both of those and put them into. Oof. Completely missed that. <laughs> I need to make another PRC. 
All right, so I figured I'd do a little quick time lapse, so to speak, with the crafting process in which I had to go through to make those machines. Um, it seems horrible, but it's a lot of fun. It's really cool as far as getting all these different processes set up and automated. One thing that's kind of lacking right now is just continuously processing all this stuff. And the biggest thing that kind of holds me back from there is the auto production of the base resources, such as osmium ore and stuff like that. I really don't have all that just 100% automated to where I could just plug in a machine and have it get going. We are getting pretty close to that point, but yeah, the crafts are pretty, pretty extensive, pretty mixed between what's going on and some, you know, take direct crafting, which isn't quite auto craftable uh, quite yet. Uh, not that I know of at least, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I figured I'd just a quick little snippet of me making another one of those. And we are going to put our fluid input here. There's the ethylene. Now, once we change this to input items on brown, it should kick off. Yep. There it goes. Making our pellets. Sweet. Now we can put that there. Put our quantify key on it so we know how many we got. Awesome, there we go. Uh, all right, now we have our pellets coming in. We need to hold six. Nice. Uh, I think I want the speed upgrades, or I mean the energy upgrades, just to make the machines more efficient. Especially this one, this one's the guzzler. So I'll stick four in there for now and then We'll have that. I did get a little dingling for this. Nice. Need more. Great. Cool. Um. All right. So, last but not least, since this episode's taking a little bit longer than I expected, of course that's the fun of it, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh, we need plastic. Uh, so we need. Mm, I said enrichment chamber and that'll make it into the sheets I believe nutrient distillation from Mender IO half a bucket for four sheets to get one piece of plastic okay If we use mob heads, we get more. Seems like mushrooms is the best over here. Well, for a minute, spider eye, but that takes crafting. Okay, and the vat. All right. Well, that's something. <laughs> I want to get it done, but I've already got quite a bit recorded. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can make the bat. Probably not. Ah, uh, lots of dark steel. <laughs> Yay, we have the bat. Uh, but I don't think we. Oh. Ooh. 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 We can make it. We can do it. Yay. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we need a wrenchment chamber here. And then blue the transposer here. The vat here. So we need Push the output, yep. And we'll do the input there. And here. I'll have enrichment chamber. Blue transposer, we'll get the item from the enrichment chamber. This is gonna get its water. From our end of our magic. Yeah.
uh, take it this way. Did we get the water now? Nice. And we'll put a chest on top. It should automatically put what needs to go where where it needs to go. Yes, perfect. So we'll get this now. So I need a capacitor. This we're gonna do. Put there. And put there. I'll put. Yeah. All right. So that's mixing it together. Stick it here and then stick it here. Very cool. You just need power. And. Um, what's that? Oh, you need power too. There we go. So that'll be converting that. Which energy are you using? 20? Okay, not bad. Should put the plate here. Once there's four plates, it'll use half a bucket. Oh, that's going pretty quick. I like it. We have a piece of plastic. It's actually not doing too bad. Okay, so one, two. That bumps you up to 63. We'll do one, two, and then one, two, three, four. All right, so we need all two pieces of plastic. Da, 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 da. We have plastic. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> industrial foregoing manual. Boom. Now we've unlocked industrial. All right, cool. Uh, that's potion making. Oh, uh, now we can use this stuff. Very cool. So. <laughs> yeah 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 so this gets us started but not really a need to 100 percent automate it because this will get us a ton of plastic and that's why i was wondering about this because this is in there but hmm yep but that's cool we got this going if we need it i suppose Alrighty, well that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Got quite a bit done. A lot of crafting. A lot, a lot of crafting. But that's to be expected. But, definitely excited with where we're at. Being able to start industrial is going to be really cool. Having pretty much all the mechanism kind of taken care of. Not really all of it, but we've got it to the point to where now we can just upgrade what it's got. We can start implementing some of the processing as far as ore processing and ore multiplication and stuff like that. But industrial foregoing is also going to give us access to quite a bit of other farms, animal farms, stuff like that. And we'll be able to work to the pink ingots, pink slime ingots, and then fertilizer to make these. And that's pretty much the gate to this next quest, which starts into all this stuff. And that's when we get into empowering. I think, oh, it's 13. This is when we get to finally automate. It's when we get to this point. Uh, that's when we have the interfaces. And yes, finally, automation. <laughs> and uh, uh, molecular assemblers. So uh, definitely looking forward to being able to do that. Very cool. And tangle porters are always nice. Fusion, tree brine, oh yeah, this is all the end game stuff or mechanism. Okay, not too bad. Infinity drill. That's with the uh, industrial. That thing holds infinite amount of power and like upgrades and tears up and stuff. That's pretty pretty neat. Alright, so we still got quite a bit to do though. Um we've gotta get through all of this. We don't have to do this, this was all kind of extra. Anyway, I'm rambling. So Next episode, we'll get into that. And appreciate you stopping by. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you want to check out some more, hit the subscribe button. 
I am back. Going to be going and making some more episodes. Not really sure how often they're going to be coming out. I do live stream on Mondays and Wednesdays. We are playing the Vault Hunters, made by Iskall. And yeah, so keep your eyes open. Later.